Welcome. Welcome to our next segment. Uh, it's the famous LED COB panel, um, the, one of the biggest topic probably in the industry currently. And we have a fantastic lineup here. And um, to start with, I have to start with the lady obviously first. Birgit, you're first uh, from Sharp. Thank, thank you for joining us. We have Ben Phelps from Amsen. We have Andreas Brockschmidt from NEC Esquadrat. I'm German, so I can pronounce it rightly. Uh, we have Bocha from LG. And we have uh, Rich Ventura from Sony and his new role. Uh, congratulations to your new job and great that you made it from the US. Fantastic. Um, as we you know, don't have that much time, let's really start off. And Rich, um, in regards to LED and especially COB, um, Sony is probably the most experienced of the whole bunch because uh, you started the whole thing three years ago, two and a half years ago, something like this. Um, so what is the experience uh, with, uh, you know, with Crystal LED? How do customers like it? And uh, what is the, what is, you know, how popular is this currently? So obviously I'm learning a lot, being only on board a few weeks, uh, but you know, Crystal LED is a very different technology than what we've seen with traditional LED, and it's got a very strong application and use case. It's not the solution that covers every possible opportunity out there. Um, you know, the picture quality, the, the it, 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 it is such a it's um, it's so hard to explain. It's it's so different than what we have for traditional LED. Um, we're seeing a lot of application, and especially in that corporate space, in the education space, and showroom type of space. It's not going to be your outdoor, your your high volume type of solution. It's a very different type of solution than uh, what we see with normal with with traditional direct view LED. Cool. You're not allowed to talk about it, but I can talk. I can talk about it. One of your biggest customer, obviously, is the Apple guys. As I use it, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic suit. I said it. You didn't say it, so that's fine. You're safe. <laughs> <laughs> um, ben, you, Upson, you're a traditional. You're really a traditional LED guy. I mean, you, not your company, obviously. You know, from China, one of the largest uh, largest suppliers of LED. And um, what what does the new COB technology mean for you? Uh, what, 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 what role does it currently play and what do you expect uh, to be, have it in the future? Well, okay, so it's a very good question. Well, first of all, congratulations on the uh, event, Florian. I'm sure it's going to be a, a big success. And it was interesting for me when, when I was invited to this because um, I was a little bit surprised to see COB and uh, an LED revolution because for us in absent, uh, COB or chip on board, uh, as we would understand it, that, that would be the traditional uh, SMD, but, but let's say... Uh, in simple terms, with almost like a resin coating on the, the front of it. That's how we would understand that. So there's COB, there's uh, glue on board, there's adhesive on board, there's all these terms. Uh, and just the fact that such well-respected industry experts are talking about these terms, and I think there's still probably a little bit of confusion as to what they really mean. So I wanted to highlight a little bit uh, what we're doing in absence. So, so we had COB chip on board. We had that two years ago in our product uh, portfolio. Uh, and it was tested quite a lot on the, the Chinese market. And of course, the Chinese market's different from, from ours in, in many ways. But the domestic market, they do have enormous, very low pixel pitch LED screens, mostly in, in government control buildings. That's where they are. Uh, and so uh, COB was introduced for that. We, we know the benefits of it. We've seen the video of people hitting it with hammers, which is, is great because we know that the smaller the pixel pitch, the more delicate the product. But we noticed the, the feedback from, from even from the, the Chinese domestic market wasn't all positive because of the, the downside to this, because uh, we know that it has a, a slightly shiny coating finish to it. Uh, the contrast for that the same reason isn't quite as good. It's difficult to remove all of the seams uh, and it's not repairable either, which traditionally for LED is a very useful thing with, with LED technology. Now, maybe all of these things will be ironed out in the near future. Maybe, maybe they will. But for us in Amsterdam, we took a decision to remove COB chip board from our product portfolio. And we have our own that we've developed. I mean, we're one of the major Chinese LED manufacturers. It's our job to be at the forefront of this. And we've developed a four-in-one mini LED, um, which we still have SMD. We still believe very much in SMD, but this mini LED, uh, it, it goes alongside our product catalog from sort of P1.6 downward, really. It's our pro range. It complements the, the plus range that we have. Uh, and it's four times stronger than standard SMD. So it's nowhere near as tough as COB. You couldn't take a hammer to it, uh, but we don't compromise on image quality, on seams, and all of the things that we would traditionally associate with uh, SMD. Okay. So yeah, that, that's where we are as a company. Good. Andreas, um, Esquadrat, NEC Esquadrat, you're an LED expert for, for many, many years. You know the market inside out. Um, how has it changed? What is, you know, what is the role? What do you expect you know, to be the, the dominating platform in the future? Yeah, the big change uh, is and will be uh, we are going more and more in fine pitch on LED, 
nine pixel pitch, also in the outdoor business and also in the indoor business. We see a lot of competitors coming onto the market with fine pitch bundle systems like we have. And uh, as the colleague from Epson said, uh, we are, as NEC Escrotard, we are starting with SMD in the fine pitch from 3.1 to 1.2, but then we change the smaller pixel pitch up to 0.9 to 4 in 1 because they are more reliable and more stronger. But in the future, we will see also to go to COB uh, because uh, also on the price-wise, if you do it right in the future and the production uh, uh, capacity is growing and the quality of the production will grow, then also the price will be dropped down from the normal SMD to the COB. And I think this will be the future. Uh, we are as NEC also developing at the moment own COB displays. But at the moment, only for indoor and lower than 1.2 millimeter. So we mm -hmm. go more in the fine pitch. But also for the outdoor, I think uh, if the chips being more brighter, have better uh, power consumption features and uh, also the uh, heat compensation, then it is more and more coming the COB. And I, I believe the COB will come in the next near future and uh, if the big big uh, producer from uh, LED chip manufacturer bring it onto the market, this will be the future. Good. Moving from NEC to Sharp, uh, in a few weeks you will probably sit on the same table. Um, mm. Birgit, great to have you here. And when we talk about LED, most people don't think about Sharp. And to be honest, um, I, it was just by accident before ISE when I was searching the web that I found out that Sharp yeah. offering the canvas and nobody talked about it. Um, so. You, Sharp is also obviously looking at the market. What role has LED in, in your portfolio, especially in the future, obviously? Yeah, uh, talking about the canvas, it was uh, launched uh, beginning of this year in our Middle East uh, region. And it's uh, an LED display solution, micro LED display solution using COB. So quite an advanced technology. And it's, it's now available also in the Middle East, Sharp. Sharp and uh, it can be also viewed in our Dubai showroom. And yes, it plays a role for Sharp because Sharp plays an important role in the display market. So we're looking at all sorts of technologies and LED and in particular COB is an important technology for the future, which we cannot neglect. And our engineers are looking into the air technology, but not only that technology, also other technologies. But uh, one of the big advantages, and you can see that with the canvas also and how it is promoted is that with SAOB, uh, the LEDs are brighter, they consume less power and it's better uniformity. So that's definitely um, the way into the future for this technology. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, it was really, it was just by Quinn Films that I found it on the website. Yeah. So I, I'm glad I, I found it. And everybody said here, are you sure? I said, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Um, moving over to things. you, Borja. Borja, um, LG. Um, well, LG is always a difficult case for us. You guys, you're so innovative. You always, you know, start with new products and sometimes you're very early in the market. And I think this time you decided, oh, we're just, you know, letting the other guys start first and now you're coming back. Because now you're getting really, really big in the market. You're also offering your own COB product. Where is LG currently positioned and what are your plans for, for the LED market? I mean, the main thing here is, um, is COB is part of our, our lineup. We have a broad line, as you have already said, about technologies. We have LCD, we have OLED, we have a stretch displays, which is different from LCD in this case. And obviously we have LED. And inside LED, we cover from S traditional SMD, as Ben have already mentioned, through mini LED and micro LED. And we also have some special features, one which is a, a transparent displays in this kind of uh, very addressable to the crystals. So for us, it's, it's another product added to our lineup. And of course, um, on contrary to what Andreas said, I mean, I, COB in this case for me is, is the next step. Uh, it, it won't come so quickly in the, in the near future, but of course has a bright near future because of the efficiency in the energy consumption. And uh, there's a lot of uh, steps going on right now and advantages, uh, quality image, but also in, in the near future, um, that overlay that Ben command will be not be as uh, it is right now. I mean, 
since uh, Korean broadliners came into this market, I think uh, there's a lot of improvement done into the product and will come into the image quality, how easy it is to install, how easy it is to connect, you know, all the same ecosystems that you used to have in your conventional uh, LCD screens, you know, in our case, it's WebOS, the, the, the core of our strategy. And in price, of course, it's a change. I mean, as the price goes down, of course, the market will become adapting this, this technology because there are people also adapting now. You can find uh, corporate rooms and Rich knows about it now <laughs> with some of them, you know, the huge investment. Why? Because they like the, the product, they like the image quality. So I think it has a, a long like future, in my opinion. Good. From LG perspective. <laughs> For me, most surprising was um, until uh, until a few months ago, and this question goes to everyone, um, COB was really positioned as a very premium product, the best you can get, the most expensive one. Uh, in the press, you could see prices of, you know, half a million or whatever, you know, some crazy prices. We all know list price, uh, <laughs> often, you know, much higher than real market prices. Um, now, Samsung got quite aggressive in the market, obviously, um, and they're really pricing it quite down. Is it something... Um, well, you, you probably don't want to talk about something, but is it something um, you expected to go so fast that the, the, the price level of, S, uh, of SCOB went down so fast? General discussion? I mean, no. price, will, price will come down, definitely. I mean, and this part of the war of MPP, I mean, when you have narrow pixel pitch product and you see how the market lately is developing in, in, in narrow pixel pitch, it's definitely that they, there's going to be a hole for SOB. COB, COB is a part of it right now. I mean, right now uh, we can determine infancy, right? It's called infancy in English. Okay, so we still have on that level. But as long as as Andreas has already mentioned, mass production comes, price go down. Okay, and I think they have a space, and that will be another part of the lineup. I mean, you you will have mini, you will have SMD, and you will have micro. Okay. okay. My opinion. And you are right. If the global market and the global players like Samsung, NEC, Sony, and so come onto the market and go in mass production, then it's uh, it's a much bigger volume as before. All the smaller, for us smaller LED supplies from China or something. In total, if the the big players are going in this market, then it's coming automatically to mass production. It will be then like uh, projectors or LCD panels. This will be the future. Mm. This is mass production. Do you, do you believe that, I mean, with you know, all these tariff wars between the US and China and all these problems you currently have, Brexit and so, do you think um, assembly of um, LED will also move to, 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 to Europe, for example? I mean, uh, Chris Regal just yesterday or last week announced, you know, he yeah. also wants to do micro-LED in the US. Um, I believe that's mainly driven by, uh, by obviously, you know, by, by tariffs or so. Um, I know Epson or some of you guys are already doing some assembly for tariff reasons, but do you believe that it, that's going to be a bigger thing in, this, in the future? Yes. I, and I said on NEC side, yes, because uh, if you see how a COB uh, pr will be produced in the future, uh, uh, the, the chip manufacturer need to produce in clean rooms. It will be in, near uh, by the chip producing factories. So you don't need so much hand working as with the normal LC, uh, uh, SMD production. So the most of thing is uh, by machines, by robots. So I, I think it will be coming more and more also the production back to Europe or the, to the US, because if you pay a, lot, a high tax rate when you import it from Asia, then you can produce it also in your home mm. country. In the future. And if you uh, produce the whole, chip plus uh, 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 the uh, complete motherboards, everything by, by robots, then you have not much hand working any longer. Mm. And then the Bir Birgit, um, Sharp, you have a lot of professional AV resellers. Um, do you think they are already ready to sell and install LED because it's so different to the typical, you open a box and you have a finished product or so. Do you see there's 
enough interest? I'm sure there is. But do you think there's already enough expertise or do you need to support them in, with white label services mm. or whatever? Mm. Well, um, I, 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 I think the interest is clearly there because it's definitely a big part of the display future and a big part of the, the business for them. So they want to develop in that way, but it's not as easy as to sell a box. I, I agree with you. So it's just not a display that you, that you sell and that, that's it. So clearly there's consultancy involved and there's project management involved and, and all these assets you would have to have either as a reseller or we as a manufacturer have to give that support to our resellers. So, but we are willing to do that. There's, there's, but that's not the only area. I think the future anyway is about, yeah, the, the word is used a lot, solutions, but it's um, solutions about meeting rooms where we are specialized in, for example, as sharp or, or uh, sensor technology, IoT sensors that we are doing, but also uh, LED needs much more consultancy work also from a manufacturer point of view. And we, we are happy to give that and we have to change in a way to support our resellers there. I'm glad we don't have an IoT sensor here because, you know, they would probably <laughs> turn off the LED wall. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> um, ben, one last question to you. Um, you're typical, you know, for, for decades, or not for decades, but more than 10 years, Epson is really, you know, specialized on LED, every form from LED. And I know partly you have worked also on the integrator side for a few years. Um, so um, wh where is a typical Chinese manufacturer like Epson. Are you now struggling? Is it more difficult for you guys because all the, you know, the big brand names come with remote control and, a, you know, computer on board and the software and everything? Or is it something the industry really needs or does Epson believe or oh, we can, we go our own way and we're fine with that? Oh, that's a good, that's a very good question, Florian. I, I think we'll, we'll get there. I, I think we'll end up um, with a very similar all-in-one package as, as the others are, are offering. Um, I think in the meantime, our expertise lies in, in manufacturing the screen itself and the support because we've spent, actually it has been decades, the company is 20 years old um, and, and I've been on the other side of the table. I've seen how you get systems integrators and, and others to, to really understand and use LED. So I think our, our strength still, still lies in that. Uh, but to answer your question, yeah, I would fully expect that, that in the next few years we would, um, we would be up to date on, on that, absolutely. Cool. Great. Rich, one last question to you. Um, sure. Many, many in the industry said Sony, you know, lost interest a little bit in, uh, in COB. Now it's a time to tell the market that's not the case. You're still interested and you're still promoting that <laughs> product. <laughs> no, definitely. I mean, I see the C-LED platform I and mean, it was one of the most exciting things that I saw. Well, everything was exciting coming over to Sony, but it, it, the technology, the solution, the applications, the opportunities, I mean, they're all there. And Everybody on this panel talked about all the ways we're using it. And, um, you know, as we see the, the conference room becoming a, a totally different environment than it is today or what it's been historically and the usages and the applications, uh, that's, that's a driving area that, that Sony spends a lot of time in. And, and, you know, and, and we focus on those spaces and we're focusing on those big pallets and, and, and canvases. So, no, so COB, the, the whole C-LED platform uh, is definitely an area that we're going to continue to focus and grow our, um, our uh, business around. Fantastic. Well, unfortunately, we ran out of time. It's a very, very interesting topic, and um, I'm sure we will talk about this in the future. I hope I see you all live again uh, at IEC. We still have to pray, you know, that everything mm -hmm. goes well, <laughs> yeah. because this virtual thing is only second to best, you know. To, uh, so I hope next time I have you all on stage here, and thank you for being here today, and uh, have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>